On to House of Dragons. I'm not going to do any spoilers. I'm just going to say rest in peace. And we're going to have a moment of silence. Okay. Um, I was, when I was planning to do this stream yesterday, it was going to be before the new episode came out. And um, hmm, I was really frustrated with Game of Thrones because I knew that, I knew that coming up on this new season, we weren't House of Dragons. I'm still calling it Game of Thrones, whatever. Uh, I knew that this season wasn't going to be so... It wasn't going to start off with the action, right? Because we have a whole season to flesh out. We weren't going to be in the middle of the heights of the bullshit, how people wanted to to be, especially following um, Luke being killed, right? If you haven't seen season one, that's not my business. You probably won't remember I said that. Um, but every episode, I just been feeling like, what the fuck is this? Like, it's just been, it's stuff is happening, but it's dry. Everybody's confused about whether they're at war or not. Nigga, you were at war the second you usurped the throne. And Renera was like, I'm coming to get that shit back in blood, nigga. I, I don't understand why these characters are moseying about like, well, if we do that, she's going to feel like we're at war. Is this a good declaration of war? Nigga, you stole the throne. We're at war, buddy. Okay, stop talking about it. This is not a question you should be asking yourself. She be asking yourself, how do we stay out the way? How do we survive? How do we win? Okay? That's the question. What moves we should be making? What I will say is, for all intents and purposes, Eamon's dumbass. I mean, he's actually a great character, and he did a very great thing that sucked so bad for me and my team, but he did it. He's making moves. He's not playing this hard we had war shit. He's really, he's really on it. I just want, I wanted, I really needed the writers to do something. And I'm actually like, and though I enjoyed what happened in this last episode, I am not a fan of it taking the last 10 to 15 minutes to do so. Like, I think House of Dragons has pretty big shoes to fill. And it, I don't know that it is filling those shoes appropriately. Um, obviously, this is the story that George R. R. Martin wrote. I have not read the book, so I can't say how accurate it is. Um, but supposedly, they're going to follow the historical accuracy of House of the Dragons, the book. Okay? So with that being said, George R. R. Martin, you might be under fire. Because here's the thing. In Game of Thrones, when people make state mistakes or they got too big for their britches, they got killed no matter... No matter who, how favorite a character they were, how much we hated them, it was like, that's what made the show unique. It was like, across the board, niggas was getting out of there. They was getting done for ASAP. Uh, and it didn't really matter. Where it seems like that is not the case for the House of Dragons. And th that can be a criticism that I want to have of the show, but it's, it's just, it, this is how the book is written. And I don't particularly enjoy that. Because there's one bitch ass nigga who should be dead and he is not. So um, his name is Sir Kristen Cole. And I pray every day to the good Lord above that he takes him out. That I don't have to see him no more Sundays. But guess what? I keep seeing him more fucking Sundays. Okay? I'm sick of the shit. All right? Um, it's very hard to have a favorite team. Like most people I know are team black. I don't know any, I said this before, I don't know anybody who's team green, honestly, to be true. I do not know. But the story ends in tragedy, meaning technically nobody wins because it's all, it's, for one, it's all the Targaryen family. So, you know, who, does it matter who wins? The Targaryens are going to be the Targaryens. But then, um, you know, uh, there's, very bad tragedy on both sides of that fence. Cool. I can deal with that. But it's best that, I'm basically saying, it's best that we just stop being so invested in uh, Team Black or Team Green or whatever because we gonna get our feelings hurt. You know what I mean? From what I heard. From what I seen before the show even came out, I think, spoiling it, I, I spoiled it beforehand. We're gonna get our feelings hurt. Everybody, everybody's feelings are going to be fucking hurt. 
Uh, and that's just a black ass bottom line. Um, I'm so to to finish this up. I am glad that the um, season is picking up, and we're getting a little more action. Um, I do still feel like the acting has been acting his ass off per usual. They they, they don't slouch on the, the actors. I cannot recall anybody except the Sand Snakes in this universe that have been shit act acting. Um, and yes, I'm talking about the the girls from Dorn. Um, and yeah, I think the story overall, like the writing, ha is is okay. Like it's 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 cool. It's not it's not giving me Game of Thrones, but it is giving me something worth it to keep watching. So um, I'm excited to keep continuing to see what happens. Um, you know, yeah, I will go more in depth. Uh, I think me and Ashley um, talked about doing a follow up. So uh, we will be doing that and we'll talk about the full season cohesively once it is done. So that's why I'm, I'm trying to get my commentary week to week without spoiling too much and without going too deeply into what I feel like is wrong or off or what's happening and blah, 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 blah. Um, but here you have it. You got something. Okay. Okay. It was going to be a rant. I promise it was going to be a rant, but they redeemed themselves. And I, I hate that they did that because now I feel like I really can't talk about much. Um, but so uh, on to the boys. <laughs> 